Come in. Hi, my name's Sarah. I'm going to be your nurse today. Can I get your name, your date of birth, and your age? Aaron Bold, 413.90 and 32. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to draw this straight for us here to give us privacy. And then I'm also going to do hand hygiene and wash my hands. Okay, so uh, the patient um, appears to be that the age that he is stating. He is alert and oriented times four because uh, he knows who he is. He knows his date of birth. He knows what year it is. He knows where we are and he knows a current event. His posture is good. His gait when he walked into the room um, is adequate as I witnessed that. Uh, there are no physical uh, deformities and his facial expressions are appropriate as we've been chatting. His mood and affect are good. Uh, the patient is well nourished as he has a BMI of 20 and um, that's previously from doing a set of vital signs on the patient. His hygiene is clean and he is odorless. Uh, throughout this assessment, I'm going to be visualizing the uh, patient's skin for color, pigment, moisture, temperature, texture, and if he has any lesions. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to do a head, ear, eye, nose, throat inspection or assessment on you. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So the first thing I'm going to do is inspect your head, scalp, and cranium. And I don't notice anything except a few scars. I'm going to palpate. I don't feel any abnormalities or uh, bulging that I should be concerned about in any way. First thing we're going to do is test your cranial ner nerve number seven. So you're going to stare at me and then I need you to smile, frown, puff out your cheeks and then raise your eyebrows up. And that is all adequate and he um, responded appropriately. Next thing we're going to do is um, cervical range of motion. So I need you to put your head down to the side up towards the sky to the other side and then do all the way around for me one big circle wonderful any pain or discomfort with that okay so the next thing i'm going to do is palpate your uh, maxillary sinuses so i'm just going to touch your face any pressure pain or tenderness no nope. then check your frontal sinuses any pressure pain or tenderness no nope. okay i'm going to palpate your uh, temporal artery on both sides, making sure that they are equal and the same, which they are. Then I'm going to check the fifth cranial nerve for TMJ, which is um, your, on your uh, jawbone. So if you can open your mouth and then move your uh, jaw side to side for me. I do not feel any wiggling or popping. Um, any pain with that at all? No. Nope. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is if you can lift up your head, I'm going to inspect your trachea. And it appears to be midline. Now I'm just going to palpate. It is indeed midline. I am going to grab my pen light here. And if you can look up at 45 to the sky, I'm going to look for a jugular distension. And I do not see any. Okay, now I'm going to check the other side. I do not see any on the other side. Next, I'm just going to palpate the carotid artery on this side. Good, strong, and intact. And it appears to be equal on this side. And I'm going to just listen with the bell of my stethoscope. I'm listening for a uh, carotid uh, brewery and a swishing sound. Do not hear one on that side. And I do not hear one on this side. Now I'm just going to palpate the thyroid. That feels of normal size. No bulging, lumps. Okay, next I'm going to test your strength of your trapezius and your sternomastoid muscle. So I'm going to press down on your shoulders here. What I want you to do is give me a good press up, okay? <sighs> Wonderful. Okay, that is perfect as well. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is, is I'm going to move on to your uh, checking your lymph nodes. So I'm going to palpate the front here, and this is your uh, preauricular lymph node. And I don't feel any bulging, uh, bulging at all. Do you feel any pain or tenderness? No. Nope. I'm going to move your parotid, and I don't feel any uh, swelling at all there either. I'm going to move to your uh, posterior auricular. And again, that feels normal. Your occipital feels normal. Just let me know if you have any pain at all. Your superficial cervical 
So normal in your posterior cervical. Looks feel good. Any any uh, pain at all or tenderness? No. And your supra um, clavicular lymph nodes and those feel good as well. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is move on to your eyes. So I'm gonna check your, um, to make sure that they're symmetrical, just inspecting and they are, your eyebrows are symmetrical as well. So I'm gonna check your conjunctiva, your sclera, your cornea, and your iris, okay? So the first thing we're gonna check is your conjunctiva. So I'm just gonna pull down, okay, on your eyelid. And then up, and that is good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna measure the pupil size. And that's a three. It's also a three, they're both round and they are indeed equal as well. So the next thing we're gonna do is check your visual fields, which is the uh, second cranial nerve, okay? So I'm going to um, grab my cards for you, for us. Put this on your right eye here. I'm gonna put this on my left eye, okay? Take my pen light here. You tell me when you can see it without moving your head, okay? No. Okay, then swap sides. No. Okay, now I'm gonna check the third, the fourth, and the sixth cranial nerve. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this pen light um, 12 inches from your face, and we are going to check your um, six positions of gaze. Okay, so all you're gonna do is hold nice and steady with your head and follow it with your eyes, okay? Then I'm going to check your um, pupil reaction, okay? Hold nice and still. It's reactive. That one is reactive. Okay, then I'm gonna check your uh, corneal light reflex. Okay, so all I'm doing is holding the pen light midline about two feet from your face and your um, the shadow within your eyes is equal and in the same place, which is what should occur, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is check accommodation. So you're gonna stare over um, at this pen light here, and then I'm gonna move it close to your face. You don't move your head at all, okay? And his pupils went cross-eyed, and they also um, constricted, which is also what we want to occur. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to um, check with uh, your red reflex in both of your eyes, okay? So I'm just gonna put my hand on your forehead here. You're gonna look to the wall. Good job. Stay looking at the wall. Good job. Okay, both are active. Then we're gonna do the Snellen chart. Okay, so you're just gonna read this line here. NBC. This line. BTVN. This line. OUTB. This line. That's the smallest I could read. Okay, good. 2020. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is check your ears. So I'm just gonna inspect first. They are symmetrical, equal, none of them gonna palpate for any uh, cysts or lesions. And I don't feel anything, any pain? No. Nope. Okay, perfect. I don't feel any lumps or anything. The next thing I'm gonna do is a um, whisper test. So if you wanna cover this ear over here, I'm gonna say two words and then you repeat them, okay? Ball, ball, truck. Truck. Then cover this side. Monster. Monster. Gummy bear. Gummy bear. Okay. Then we're gonna do the Webster, the um, the uh, Weber test. Okay. So I'm gonna take the tuning fork here, and then I'm going to put it on the top of your head, and you're gonna let me know when you no longer feel it. Okay. No. Perfect. Okay. Respond to all of that. Next, we're gonna do the Ryan test. Okay. So I'm just gonna take this. Um, activate it and then place it on your uh, mastoid process, okay? You tell me when you no longer can feel it. No. Good, okay. Then I'm going to do it on the front of your ear. You tell me when you no longer can hear it, okay? No. Good. Okay, now I'm going to do this side. No. Okay. Okay, perfect. So the reaction was you heard it twice as long in the front as you did in the back, um, and that's exactly what we should have occur. So next, I'm going to take my little scope here, and I'm going to look at your tympanic membrane, pulling up and back on the ear. This one is um, pearly gray, translucent and intact. 
Pulling up and back on this side. Curly gray, translucent, and intact as well. Perfect, okay. So next thing we're going to do is um, inspect your nose. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is look. Any injuries to your nose in the past? No. Wonderful, okay. So I'm going to then um, look inside, change the tip. And I'm gonna check your um, turbulence, your mucosa, and your septum. But since you haven't had any um, deviations or anything in the past, I shouldn't hopefully see anything that worries me. And this side looks good. Your mucosa is good in pink. Turbulence are good. This side is good too, and it appears to be good in pink. So we're gonna test that. So I'm gonna hold this side down, and then you're gonna take a deep breath in and let it out. Well, this side in out okay no drainage so the next thing we're going to do is you should be able to do this one we're going to test your cranial nerve number one so this is a familiar smell you're going to let me know what you're smelling okay cinnamon good okay okay so the next thing we're going to do is move on to your mouth i'm going to use my light here i'm going to inspect the outside first just making sure everything is uh, symmetrical. I don't notice anything. And then, then I'm gonna check on your gums, okay? So keep your mouth nice and wide, good. They are good and pink, moist, few cavities, but um, gums are good, moist, pink. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is test your um, cranial nerve 12. So if you can stick your tongue out and then move it side to side for me, open up wide, good, okay. Then what I'm gonna do is test the uh, ninth and 10th cranial nerve. So if you can stick your tongue out and then I'm gonna press on it, you say, ah. Uh. Good, so while I was doing that, I also checked his tonsils in the back of his mouth. They are intact and of normal size and his uh, uvula responded as well. So that is uh, perfect and that concludes our um, assessment.